Hi, guys. Do you know why Sam's yelling? <gasps> oh! Was there a tornado or something? Naughty tornado! It was a hurricane named Fluffy! I've been trying to make a cardboard house for two days! But each time Fluffy comes and ruins everything! Poor Sammy. Who is this house for? For Gary the snail, of course! Huh, I think I know what's wrong. Tidy up and let's go. It's Fluffy who should tidy up. I think we've offended Fluffy because we've never made anything for him. Offended? Really, Sue? I am! Guys, do you think we offended Fluffy? Write in the comments. And? Well, we could make this giant labyrinth for him. Wow! Awesome! How are we going to make Fluffy explore the labyrinth? Like this. Or <laughs> we'll think of something else. Okay, convinced. Let's start our world scale construction! Huh? Huh? Uh huh? 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 Susie, wait for me! It will really be a world scale construction. Are you really gonna eyeball it? Hey, what will Fluffy do to us if we build him a lopsided labyrinth? <laughs> You're right. Let's measure the height of our labyrinth. Make it higher. You know how high cats can jump. Right onto the fridge. I hope you won't argue about the width. The walls have different height. Yes, it was just a test. We've measured this piece. Now we need to cut it out. It's better not to trust slimes with sharp objects. It's better not to trust slimes with sharp objects. Don't say that wasn't helping you. Da, 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 da. I've already cut out several pieces. Let's continue. Right, the height should be the same. Smile, Susie! Sam, why are you taking pictures? I'll send these photos to the Guinness Book of World Records! In the most troublesome craft in the world category? Laugh all you want! The Guinness Book of World Records is a collection of human achievements, annals, nature phenomena, and many other things. They collect data in different categories. For example, the biggest pumpkin was registered in Germany. It weighed 1,190 kilos. And the longest rain lasted for 247 days on the Hawaiian island of Kauai. And you can probably guess where they made the biggest pizza. In Italy, of course. They needed eight tons of mozzarella. I think that our cardboard labyrinth for Fluffy should be so big it gets to the world records! Sue, are you still cutting the cardboard? I am, Sam. I think it's the last piece of our structure. Now we're going to start assembling the giant cat labyrinth. Finally! I thought it would take you a whole week! Start gluing! Before we start gluing, we need to fold several pieces, like this. Let me fold something too! Uh, careful, Sam. No need to rush. We need the biggest labyrinth for the world records! You won't manage it on your own. Everything's under control, Susie! All the pieces are ready. Time to start assembling! Yahoo! All the pieces should be glued together neatly and securely. Sam, bring me the draft! Here! Take a good look and don't forget to make the exit. A labyrinth must always have an exit! <laughs> Did you think I could forget? I'm trying to help! You could say thank you. Sam, do you want to help me for real? Yes! What do I need to do? Draw, start, and finish to make sure Fluffy doesn't get lost. Oh, I thought it was going to be a serious task. Fine, I will. Start. Ah, uh, it's a bit lopsided. I'll try again. Start. Uh, what? T-A-R-T! I'll go print the word out. <laughs> Sue won't notice. <laughs> the cleverest Sam, the slyest slime. Guys, if you have ideas for a mini labyrinth, write them in the comments. I'm getting tired of this one. Ugh, we don't need a mini labyrinth, we need a record! Okay, I'm doing my best. Did you make the signs? Sue, here! It looks like they were drawn by a printer, not Sam. Doesn't matter, it's still pretty. Phew, we're almost done with the labyrinth. Here goes the last wall. We'll 
fluffy bit in here! <laughs> you did, so... Come here, buddy. It's ready! Let him in! Go, Fluffy, we believe in you! Fluffy seems a little puzzled. He wants to get out the easiest way. <laughs> no, no, no. You'll have to figure it out, buddy. Go, Fluffy, go! Go, Fluffy, go! He starts to move forward. <laughs> he looks like a snake here. Huh. <laughs> he doesn't look for the easiest solutions, does he? Clever Fluffy passes the first part. He continues. Huh. Do you think he can smell the way out? I don't know. Could be. He's building a new strategy. Wha- Hey! Hey! No! Oh, go back, clever one. Fluffy, come on! You can find the real exit! Yes, yes, you're almost there, buddy! Come on! Is he lost? Uh, he'll manage. He's thinking real hard! And he's moving forward! Just a bit more! Yay! <laughs> Aww, Fluffy, you did great! Here's your just dessert. You are a champion, my friend. Guys, I'm announcing a contest. What do you need to do? First, give this video a thumbs up. Second, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button. Third, write an awesome idea for a new labyrinth in the comments. Sam and I will select the most awesome idea and make a video with it. Okay, guys, this craft turned out great. If you like it, give a thumbs up! And if you know how to make it even better, or using other materials, leave a comment below! While you're doing that, we are moving on to the next craft! Ha-ha! <sighs> I had such a good sleep. Time for a snack. Wait a minute, did I have a snack and forget about it? Hmm, Sam! I'm coming! What? What is all this mess? Why is it always me when there's a mess? Who did it then? Well, uh, there! Tater tots! It's you who's been throwing things around and took my notebook too? I've been searching for it for two days! Silence, huh? Sam, I doubt it's Tater Tots. She's been living with us for a long time and she's never made a mess. Then who? No idea. Oh! Then it's definitely not Tater Tots and not me! I see. Sue... So, do something's moving in the pillows! Oh, it's a hamster! Come here, little one! You're too gentle with her after everything she's done here! Well, it looks like this hamster has a lot of energy if she's made all this mess. And while we're thinking what to do with her, we need to entertain her. I can do that! <laughs> no, Sammy, I meant a different thing. You'll see. Didn't you forget something? Uh, oh, I don't think so. Was I supposed to bring something? Oh, Sam, you need to say hi. Oh! Hi, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just so happy to have a new animal in our house that I even forgot my own name. I'll never believe that you forgot your own name. It happens. But I do have a reminder for that. Here! I see that you're ready for anything. Are you ready to help me? Sure! Only tell me what we're going to do, and I'll start helping right away! Doesn't this remind you of anything? Huh. Uh, I think it does. Oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue! It starts with an L! La, 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 la! No, Sam, it's not a song, it's a labyrinth! Oh, right! Tater Tots has a labyrinth! So the hamster will have one too? Yep, she needs a labyrinth with all kinds of different obstacles to spend her unstoppable energy. Awesome! Guys, give a thumbs up if you saw the video where we made a labyrinth for Tater Tots! 
Right. The base for the labyrinth is done, but we also need to make an obstacle course. So which obstacles will our hamster face? Different things, revolving doors, a ladder, fences, a seesaw. A seesaw? Oh, I know I can make it. Can I? Sure, here you go. Got it. I'm off. And I'll start with making a ladder out of wooden skewers. Here, I have a template to guide me. I'll place the long sticks on the sides. One side, and the other one neatly. And I'll glue small sticks over them. Susie, a question for you. Yes? Where do hamsters come from? Oh, well, I don't know, maybe Europe? Almost. Hamsterdam! Hamsterdam? Oh, I get it. <laughs> but the real question is, where did this hamster come from? Maybe she ran away from the neighbors? As far as I know, our neighbors don't have hamsters, but it could be. I'll ask later. It'll be better if you leave her. Oh, Sam, we already have so many animals. The more, the merrier. Guys, do you agree? Well, we'll see. Right, the ladder is done. I'll glue it in place. An awesome ladder. The hamster will love going up, I'm sure. But it's only one obstacle. We'll continue. Here, we're going to have revolving doors. It's very easy to make them. You'll take a straw and glue four blades to it. Uh. Uh. <sighs> Sam, what are you doing? That hamster keeps taking our food. She looks so serious, I'm afraid to approach her. Taking food? Well, the hamsters are thrifty animals. Some species of hamsters can stash up to 90 kilos of food. They can't eat that much in their life! They're so small! It's an instinct. Well, my YouTube channel star instincts are telling me that people are subscribing out there and hitting the bell button while we're creating. That's wonderful! And I've made this revolving door. We need four. Voila! I'll glue them in our labyrinth. Done! Now glue the seesaw in! I've worked so hard on it. A wonderful seesaw. Ta da! <laughs> Let's glue it here. Glue it well. Make sure it doesn't fall apart. Can it fall apart? Well, I didn't check. Don't worry. It won't. There. Looks great. Right, Sam. Go inflate this balloon while I add a few more obstacles. Inflate a balloon? Well, well, fine. I'll add these colorful fences. I'm sure the hamster will easily overcome them. If she managed to make all that mess, she shouldn't have trouble with these obstacles. Inflate a balloon. Oh, I'm kind of scared. What if it blows up right in my face while I'm inflating it? Guys, do you like inflating balloons? Write in the comments. Fine, I'll inflate it. Anything for your new friend, Hamster. And one more obstacle here. It's almost a tunnel. La, 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 la. Thank you, Sammy. The balloon is the last element. Let's place it here. Is this an entrance? Yes, and here's the exit. And the last detail. We'll add these little cushions. Now we only need to close the labyrinth with transparent plastic. Did you remember to make holes in the plastic to make sure the hamster has enough air? Of course I did. That's a very important moment. The hamster will have enough air. Done! Invite the hamster, quick! In you go, little one. Have fun. Aww. Come on, hamster. You need to go up. Do you see the ladder? Up, up. Our hamster is very small, so I'll help her a little bit. Oh, she has the whole labyrinth to explore and she's grooming herself. So really, what's going on? Why won't she move along the ladder, even horizontally? Let me help her a little bit more. Yay! Hey, now we're talking. Yes, yes. Right here. Good job! She passed the tunnel! Now she needs to figure out those revolving doors. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, 
She's doing it! She's doing it! Oh, oh no! Oh! I hope she didn't hurt herself. No, don't worry. The cushion softened the fall. Ah, uh, she did well with these fences. Okay, one more revolving door. Come on, you know what to do! Go! And... Yes! Yay! Oh, hey, I think she liked my seesaw. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, wow, and she was quick with that revolving door. Now comes the balloon, a difficult obstacle. Oh, no, 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 go back, go back. You can do it, go, go. No, not back, forward, come on. I believe in you, little hamster, you know what to do with the balloon. Susie, look, she punctured the balloon. Oh, awesome. Go, hamster, go. Go, go, go. Come on. The last obstacle. Yes! Well done! Oh, that's it! That's it! Go to the exit! Oh, she found the exit! Clever girl! Yeah! <laughs> Even though our hamster couldn't go up the ladder, she's absolutely awesome to overcome a labyrinth like that! Yes, now she can wander around here instead of ruining our house. I'll go find out whose hamster this is. Our... What? Well, we are going to keep her, right? Damn. Guys, guys, give a thumbs up if you want the hamster to stay. If we get the video to 10,000 thumbs up, I'll convince you to keep the hamster. Guys, did you like the video? Give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the most wonderful channel of the most wonderful slime. Now, to the next video. Enjoy another one of Sam's adventures. The most wonderful, of course. I'm asking you one last time! No, Sam, the matter is settled. Uh, but just look how cute they are! Let's take at least a small one. She got into our house, Sue. Well, somebody was taking the trash out and left the door open again. But now we've got a dog! And who's going to walk her or feed her? Oh, no, no. You're going to feed her. See what she did to a plush toy? What if she eats me too? Oh, what are we going to do with you, girl? I can't really send you out into the street. Well, I think I've got an idea. Come on! To make sure our dog doesn't stay hungry, we'll make her a dog food dispenser. First, I'll need a piece of cardboard, and I'll draw a few marks on it. This craft isn't difficult, but it requires precision. And a few more. And connect them. And a few more lines to make it a trapeze shape. Now we need to cut it out neatly. Remember to be careful when you work with a cutter. Ask her to do it in the comments. If there are many, many comments, the dog will stay with us! We'll need four pieces like this. Now we need to glue them together. The hot glue gun is a perfect thing for crafting, but be very careful with it. Now we'll place the pieces to form a funnel. What if our viewers ask us in the comments to keep the dog? First, I'll read all of the comments and then we'll think about it. Guys, everything depends on you! Let's set it aside and cut this wooden stick into several small pieces. Pieces like these. Now let's pair the pieces and glue them together. Now, I'll apply some hot glue and attach these pieces to the base securely, like this. Two on the sides, and two in the front. Sue, may I train our dog? Oh, Sam, just be careful so she doesn't confuse you with a gummy. Let's see. Oh, this is exactly what I need. Hey, doggy, here you are. What are you doing here? I see you're doing important dog stuff. Got it. 
Perhaps you'd like to be trained. Huh? Fetch! Hey. Oh, that's not right. You were supposed to bring the ball to me. So, running away, huh? And sitting on the couch, too? Now Sue isn't gonna keep you. Oh, don't worry. I won't tell her about the couch. High five! Huh? You steal toys and won't even give me a high five? Give Sam your paw! Paw, please! Give me your paw! Now we need a piece of plain paper and a pencil. Let's roll it up like this. Nice and tight. The tube should be sturdy enough. And now I can take the pencil out. Now let's secure the tube on both sides. Now we'll use the hot glue gun and attach this piece of cardboard to one end of the tube. Like this. Let's attach wooden sticks to it as well. Give me your paw! Paw! Sue, so, what age do dogs start obeying commands? Well, I don't know. It depends on the trainer. <laughs> oh, I get your hint. Now we need to connect two pieces and attach these small rubber bands. Hmm. Right. Let's test it. <gasps> it works! Let's start assembling the main structure. I'll apply some glue to the bottom, along two sides. Our machine is about 26 centimeters high. Remember, it should be sturdy enough. We'll place the funnel on top. I've made an opening for the handle in one of the walls. Now let's glue one more wall with an opening. And insert the slide for dog food. <gasps> What name do you have in mind? Well, for example, the sweetest, prettiest, best dog in the world. <laughs> Imagine calling her that in the street. <laughs> I haven't thought of that. Let's ask our viewers to help us with it. Oh, that's a great idea. Guys, let's come up with the coolest name for our new friend together. Write your names in the comments. The name that gets the most likes will become the name of this cutie. Let's prepare a jar with dog food. I'll fill it almost to the top. We need to glue a cardboard piece on top. Like this in the corners. Now it's time for a very crucial task. A crucial task? Yes, assist me. Let's place our machine onto the jar and carefully turn it over. <gasps> wow, awesome! I've prepared these two stickers. Oh, let me help! Here. And here. So let's test our machine. Come on, come on! Two, oh, can I give it a try? Sure. Now you're responsible for feeding her. Oh, yay! Awesome! Oh, Sue, what if she learned to push the button herself? <laughs> Let's hope she doesn't burst. Guys, did you like our machine? Give a thumbs up if you want more life hacks for pets. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye! <laughs>